हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू यू न्यू लेसन ऑफ अ मैट लैब टू इन दिस लेसन वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट द मैट लैब टू सो वंस यू फर्स्ट टाइम स्टार्ट योर मैट लैब इट स्टार्ट्स विद दिस बेसिक कॉन्फ़िगरेशन वेयर यू कैन सी दिस इज करेंट फोल्डर हाउ यू आर एट द स्टार्ट करेंट फोल्डर इज सेलेक्टेड इन टू बिन फोल्डर एंड दिस इज ए कमांड विंडो and uh, here is the content of the current folder and this is your work space so here we have a, a three panels the first one is current folder and uh, then command window and then workplace so as you work in the matlab you issue commands that create variable and call functions so you can type a command here in the command line let's say if you write a is equal to 1 then it will assign a equal to 1 and as you see here it will print that value and if you type here a is equal to 1 and if you put here semicolon it will not print the value how your a equal to 1 will be assigned and you can print it simply by typing a and hit enter and in the similar way suppose that if you want to create few more variables suppose that b b is equal to 2 you can write and just hit enter it will assign b is equal to 2 now in the third variable you can operate a simple arithmetic operation such as a plus c is equal to a plus b and if you don't put a semicolon it will print the result there and you can go back i mean you can visit your previous command histories by typing up button so if you press up buttons you will see your all previous histories and in the similar way you can call a trigonometric function suppose that if you want to assign a variable d with a cos function with a cos value of some variable suppose that a then you can write d is equal to cos a and the here a is a is in radian when you do not specify any output variable then matlab uses the variable ans that is the answer suppose that if you write sin b and if you hit enter it will print ans is equal to 0. 9093 and in the similar way suppose that if you write here only 5 or any other numerical value it will assign that value into ans and if you print that ans it will assign a latest value that is a 5 and in the similar way you can perform some other mathematical operations such as multiplication suppose that if you assign e is equal to a multiplied by b then it will print a into b where a is 1 and b equal to the 2 and a into b will be 2 so this is all about uh, in uh, introduction of matlab 2018 a uh, first tutorial and thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe this channel from the next tutorial i'll be covering matrix and arrays bye bye have a nice day